lesson six, lesson five, we didn't do uh, much more modeling, and nor are we going to hear in lesson six. And we're going to use this opportunity to organize the content that we have and again sort of examine the site and make some intelligent decisions, um, continued inferences about, well, what is it about uh, this building and its context uh, that, that is favorable to my uh, program, to my thesis, problem statement, whatever it is that, that I'm pursuing here. So I'm going to make sure that I have underlay a layer for underlay images. Some of these drawings, this, this, this imagery we got a little bit later. So we scaled building permit uh, stuff and let's place these two groups on underlay images so that we can hide them at will. And where we left off before was we um, created this outline uh, roughly um, that we thought might be about the shape of the balcony, uh, the, uh, yeah, the balcony on each floor in the tower. So uh, let's remove that and we'll make a decision about that, how we're going to model that afterwards. So basically I'm selecting these lines, removing them from the group that forms the slab for that floor. I think it was the fourth floor. And what we need to start to do is to create some uh, scenes Let's first turn on everything and call that a scene and that will be isometric with everything on. Our style setting is also set to x-ray, but we can change that afterwards. Uh, let us... Hi, Dollhouse. Yeah. Um, let's turn off all the underlays so we'll have something of a model only view. Change style to non X ray. Go to isometric. 
let's add the scene so that it's a new style and symmetric model view. So we had isometric all on. It's not really isometric, we should we would have clicked that view. Let's update that scene. And go to the isometric model view. Right. So we can go back and forth between um, now we need uh, floor plans and section. Let us turn on Let's start to organize the floor plan. So I'm going to uh, turn on a south elevation CAD drawing. And we're roughly going to create uh, building sections horizontally, four feet above each of these level bullets. Again, a certain amount of literacy with uh, construction documents is assumed. If, if what I'm saying doesn't make sense to you, see a tutor at CLAS and have them explain the concept of floor plan, cutting planes, and the like. I'm cutting a section. I'm going to place a section plane on the ground. Everything disappears. Why does everything disappear? Because the section plane at level zero looking down um, occludes a view of everything above it, right? Um, I'm going to array this section plane, and we roughly had... 12 to 15 feet between floors, so I'm going to move copy in the vertical direction, tap the control key, 12 feet, 5x. And we can align them more precisely afterwards. Let's take this first one and make it the active cut. So where are we with that? I think it needs to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to move it vertically until I can see that elevation bullet. And then I'll be able to measure four feet from it. All right. So I'm taking tape measure from that intersection. That's almost about four feet. That's going to be, that's pretty good. We can do it more precisely afterwards. But if I make that the active, if, if I say align view, um, that's, and turn off visibility for the, uh, section fill. I don't want to fill the stuff I'm cutting. Section planes. But I want to leave on section cut. So that's going to be my second floor plan. New style. Floor plan to it.
go back to ISO view section planes. I'll save this scene as well. Section plan work view. I've made that The next plane is uh, just about two two feet above the next uh, elevation bullet. So I'm going to raise that section vertically by another two feet. We're just going to move it up 24. And that's going to be my floor plan three. Line view. View. Section planes. And save. Let's see. Floor plan three. Let's go back to this work view. Select the next section. No, we did that one. Select the next one. Make that the active cut. So this one's going to be floor plan four. Let's see how far that is above the elevation bullet. 3, 7, that's pretty good. Pretty close. Let's raise it uh, 4 inches on blue axis. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4th floor plan, right? Align view. View... Um, Turn off the visibility section planes. Create a new scene. Floor plan four. Let's go back to our section plan work view. So that one was our second floor. That one was our third. That one was our fourth. This one was our fifth. The other thing that you could do, because these are elements like anything else, I can um, now we can't use component attributes. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's see. All right, floor plan two. Floor plan. To isometric. Let's go to floor plan three. Let's 
with the ISO view and create a scene. So plan three isometric. Let's go to floor plan four. Switch our view to ISO. Save this as a scene. Floor plan four isometric. So let's see what we've done so far. Floor plan two isometric is just above that second floor. Floor plan three isometric is above the floor above it. Floor plan four isometric is four feet above the cutting plane of the, the next one, etc., etc. So we still have a good amount of modeling work to do, but it's good to organize this work ahead of time so you start to be, have a framework to analyze your model. Let's cut now long and cross sections through this building. I'm going to go to the, my isometric model view again. To section plane. That's going to be my cross section, right? I'm going to move it through the tower. So there's what we're looking at. Line view, view, uh, let's turn off the visibility of the section planes and, and the section fill, and save this as a new scene, new style, section cross one. Go to the isometric model view again. Could have been a long, that's actually more appropriate as a long section. That's a camera uh, to section plane. I'm going to rename that. And let's reverse the direction of that section cut. That's going to be my cross section. A line view. Visibility section. We don't want to see the planes and we don't want to see section fill. Save it as a scene, new style, section, cross, one, A. So we can rename the other one. This one's actually going to be section long. And let's rename section cross 1A to this section of good old section cross 1. Save the file, make sure that we have it saved. Why would I cut long and cross sections in that direction? Well, let's look at pictures of the building. Right. Since the Liberty Building was developed, right, clearly the, the north wing was truncated. 
you can see it's connected to the to the hotel tower here and the east was truncated as well by this development at Mass General Hospital. So here we're looking at, uh, you know, this kind of view looking at the west elevation of source. And this other photo we're looking at the south elevation so that that this wants to be my long section that is in fact what that view is it's important to understand that this view corresponds with that picture right so the relationship between the sectional uh, view that we've developed here and this photograph, that correspondence is important. Because, um, well, for several reasons. For, for one, this is a vantage point from which, we, you know, we sort of can see the building. Uh, secondly, to explain it, you want to be able to relate it to context uh, imagery that you already have. So let's save out lesson six, make sure that we understand these context, uh, the section cuts and why we and floor plans and why we uh, cut them and place them where we did.